You're watching Philadelphia's NBC 10. Now, live from the News Center, this is News 10 Premier Edition. Amazing. Today, here at NBC 10, we are celebrating a birthday 25 years ago. We became NBC 10. It was called The Big Switch. Yeah, and there's no better way to celebrate than with family and friends, right? So I got the chance to hang out with some NBC 10 legends to not only take a trip down memory lane, but to hear how this television station has made lasting impacts in their lives. Take us back to 1995. <laughs> Scary, very scary. We were horrified. In September 1995, this group went through a major change. These WCAU legends were part of our big switch from CBS to NBC. Many of us were thrilled to be working for the Tiffany Network of Walter Cronkite and Edward R. Murrow. If the perception was, well, you were the CBS guys, and I'm going to bring my guys in. You're all out. Steve Dorr was never going to let us all go. My fear was I wasn't going to be around to make that decision because, you know. <laughs> Steve Dorr was WCAU's news director back in 1995. His job? Prepare the station for the transformation. You guys recall CBS and, and NBC didn't get along all that well. So there was a lot of conflict and, you know, kind of behind the scenes as a manager, I, I really, really felt the, the, you know, the tension and the stress. You're trying to be cool with the team and make sure everybody knows things are going to be okay when on the second floor people are throwing staples at each other. While there may have been drama behind closed doors, the preparation continued. It was out with the old sign and in with a brand new one. But for a while, NBC10 didn't have an identity. We were like generic news. Luann just reminded me of this. This used to be the old mic flag and she had the next mic flag, right? And um but in between, there was this <laughs> no network. But then it happened, September 10th, 1995. NBC 10 News was born. This is News 10 Premier Edition. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Chenault. And I'm Ken Matson. You are watching History in the Making. We ran Saturday Night Live from yeah. 1130 to 1, after which we decided we were going to show them who we are and do a newscast. And uh, Siani Lee was outside and she ripped off the cover of the new logo. The new NBC 10. And that was sort of the moment of, of that was the big reveal. We were able to do a better job because of NBC. But we got Seinfeld. ER followed Seinfeld, and yes. uh, I think Friends was I think Friends was on at eight, was on, at eight. on Thursday night. Yeah. Let's show you the latest radar. The switch also led to another premiere on NBC10. It was that switch that got me to fill in, because when you got to NBC, they expanded. And then they needed somebody to do the weather for weekend mornings. And you could say station promos for the newest meteorologist had worlds collide. Hot enough for you? Look at the people on this call, right? Everybody here, you know, is, is a legacy broadcaster. And that legacy they've left here since the switch lives on today in every NBC 10 newscast. I appreciate every one of you. I and mean, every time I see your faces, it makes me feel good. Because they're not just former co-workers or friends. They're NBC 10 family, 25 years and counting. There are several of us who uh, get together every few weeks to uh, spit and tell lies. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and we had lunch. And so far, uh, Baldini and Terry have picked up several checks. Vi does not pick up the check real often. <laughs> I think NBC was the best thing that ever happened to all of us. <laughs> I got to tell you, that was such a great time speaking with that group. The stories that they could tell, I mean, that could go on and on and on. But what really stood mm -hmm. out is oh, the yeah. bonds that they have created. They've continued to grow, and it all centers around NBC10. You know, I was fortunate to go to a couple of those lunches. It's amazing to see um, some of the archive of videos there. They're legendary storytellers. <laughs> yeah. So the stories they tell at the table are incredible. Yeah. But this has been awesome to celebrate the legacy of NBC10 now. 25 years later. That was a great piece, Aaron. All right, uh, we're not done yet. Starting Sunday night on NBC 10 News at 11 o'clock and continuing all next week, we'll showcase some of the most memorable stories and TV shows you've seen on NBC 10 over the last 25 years.